We'll instruct the patient to do is lick their lips and swallow. You just have your jaw kind of relax, lips just slightly apart right there. Perfect. So this is uh, the patient's vertical dimension of rest or their rest position. Um, so we line up the two dots and we've made marks on our stick. So that top one to that line, that distance is our VDR. Okay, and we'll do it a couple times just to verify that it's repeatable. So why don't you do that one more time, lick your lips, swallow, and just let your jaw hang just a little bit, lips just slightly apart, perfect. So we'll line up the lines again, and that looks pretty close. So now we want to evaluate his vertical dimension of occlusion with his existing dentures that he came in with. So we'll take that out and we'll put the old dentures in. And generally the anatomical average is that there's a two to three millimeter difference between vertical dimension of rest and occlusion. Go ahead and close together. So when the teeth are together, this is his vertical dimension of occlusion, VDO. And we'll take the same stick here and we'll do a little measurement there. So where I've drawn this line to this upper red line is his existing vertical dimension of occlusion. And the difference between his VDO and VDR is about six millimeters, maybe seven. So that's a lot more space than sort of the anatomical average. And if we look at his facial profile, his lower third, we can see that it's collapsed a little bit. So now we have the uh, rock strims that we've adjusted to the appropriate dimensions. So we'll put those in. And what we want to see is that when the rims are touching or occluding, go ahead and close. So this is his new video that we want to get him to. And you can see the facial third is a little bit more open. Or that distance is a little wider. And now when we do that same measurement, he's closer to this black line that we have right here. Okay, so now the difference between his vertical dimension of rest and his new vertical dimension of occlusion is closer to the two or three millimeters that we're looking for. So we've essentially opened up his uh, vertical dimension and that happens um, patients will often lose vertical dimension because of the acrylic teeth on the existing dentures. These will wear down over time, so the distance between the jaws gets closer and closer to each other.